Thousands of feet over southern England in the high altitudes, which are the shop window of the British aviation industry, beagles indicate that this year at Farnborough, light aircraft are prominently featured, serving both top businessmen and the services. From the Hawker stable, the fantastic P-1127 and the Hunter. This is the P-1127's first appearance at Farnborough. It's intended for both the RAF and the Navy. The latest versions of the Folland Nat. The T-1 flies on the fringe of the speed of sound and has tremendous climbing power. It's much used as a training plane. And that's just a glimpse in their right element of some of the aircraft on show down there at Farnborough. The display which draws buyers from every quarter of the free world. For the Society of British Aircraft Constructors, this is a critical time. Exciting new aeroplanes like the Havilland's 125 and the Trident are on their first public view. And so is the Vickers VC-10, the long-range airliner leading the new generation in the jet field. Four Rolls-Royce Conway engines, speed around 570 miles an hour. Here again, the Hawker P-1127. NATO markings prove that it rates high in international favor. So do helicopters, the one-man variety, most men's secret ambition. Always spectators' favorites, the copters mock the force of gravity as usual. With a WA-116, you could laugh at the crowded trains and buses and be home before your wife has finished her afternoon nap. Something a little heavier, the Vulcan bomber, with a prominent role to play in defense of the West. The Handley Page 115, a Delta Wing research aircraft. The Bristol Type 188. Someday, three times the speed of sound. Almost stealing the show, that P-1127 did things in the air that just didn't seem possible. the field of heavy transport, represented here by the Argosy, with some parachutists providing a thrill. The flares attached to their ankles will show the pattern of the free fall. There's nothing to this, really, just one heck of a lot of faith that somewhere on the way down the parachute will open. Here, they're delaying the opening. That's the target, and they're well on it. One of the big moments of the show, the takeoff of the VC-10. The passenger comfort of the rear engine assembly is just one of the factors that will make it a dangerous competitor of the American jets. And there she is, the VC-10, airborne for thousands to see. Now the stage is taken by the RAF, aerobatics by hunters and lightning. And witnessing the display, Air Marshal Sir Douglas Morris, head of fighter command. The lightning is taking off. Lightnings and hunters in combined formation. Hunters providing the vapor trail. Name of this maneuver, a bomb burst.
four executives who travel long distances to get big orders and wake up those chaps in branch offices abroad, the DH-125. The Blackburn Buccaneer, in service with the Navy, flies just this side of the sound barrier. Gaining favour in many parts of the world, the Handley Page Herald. Twin turboprops, 50 to 60 passengers. Long range cruising speed, 270 miles an hour. And for a last look at Farnborough, the DH Triton. Three rear jets give it a maximum cruising speed of just over 600 miles an hour. Trident is expected to revolutionize medium range air travel. Good luck to everything on show at Farnborough.